So people often ask me how the uh, chickens eat. Like, what do they eat? And I always tell them they have this beautiful big backyard for an all-you-can-eat buffet. Literally, they hang out in this little corner in the mornings. But they've got a whole yard full of just fresh grass to graze on. They dig all in this yard as they're digging over here. They like this little corner over here for some reason. I don't know if the ground is softer. I don't know why they congregate in this area, but they do. And this is what they do early in the mornings. They'll get out here and just start scratching. I mean, it's beautiful watching these animals just scratch. See them there? They scratch and then they start pecking at the ground. And usually um, they find grubs and bugs. And of course they eat the green grass. I haven't mowed the grass back here probably in a little over a month, knowing that we're going into the cooler season. I may mow it uh, this weekend uh, if I feel like it, but I like keeping it tall because this is literally the food that they eat. Now I supplement them with other food. I've shown you on other videos before that I give them this feed that helps with their shell. I feed them mealworms, um, all kinds of things. Uh, and of course they uh, also get the leftover scraps from my my food. So if I get a rotisserie chicken, I'll throw them the carcass of the rotisserie. Um, but yeah, this is what chickens do in the mornings. And of course it's cool out here today, probably in the low 60s, upper 50s, low 60s. Um, and the grass is wet, so it's a lot softer. This probably makes it easier for them to do what chickens do. But not everybody realizes chickens do all this stuff. And so I thought, okay, let's show you on camera how chickens behave in the morning. These really are remarkable animals. And I am grateful for the little morsels of breakfast goodness they poop out for me every day. I think I got eight eggs yesterday from my 14. I have 14 total in the flock. And I got eight eggs from them. They don't lay every day. I think the uh, it's somewhere between like 27 and 32 hours. Every 27 to 32 hours, they lay an egg. So some days I don't get some from some, uh, but then it's the day for others. So uh, that one right there, right there is Squawky. She's the only one that has a name. All the rest of them, I never named, uh, but she was from our original flock, Squawky. She's, I think, eight years old now. And so she's the only one left from the very original flock when we got chickens the first time. She probably doesn't lay anymore, but she's the matron saint of the chicken flock, so I'm not getting rid of her. Uh, I guess she'll just die naturally because I'm not getting rid of her. But all the rest of these chickens I got within the last three years, I think we got them three years ago as baby chicks, and we grew them into chickens. We'll very likely get some more uh, when the springtime comes because chickens are a hoot and a henny. If you're able to give them a good home where they can free range, I mean, literally, if you're just joining us, this is my backyard and these are my 14 backyard chickens and they are doing what chickens do. Chickens get out there, they graze on the grass. So while it's still warm enough to have grass before the grass dies with the winter weather, they have the ability to have an all-you-can-eat salad bar, basically. And every time they peck at the ground and they get grubs uh, and they start eating the green grass, all of that nutrition that's going into their bodies is what gets into that egg yolk. And so I'm grateful to see that they are happy chickens I'm grateful because I do take really good care of them. I'm grateful that they aren't in any danger, a little bit of danger, I suppose. There is a cat that gets back here uh, that has been quite vicious towards a few of my animals and has killed three of my chickens. Uh, but for the most part, they're pretty safe back here. It is in an enclosed backyard, so I have a... a basically a fence all the way around. That's their Taj Mahin, as I call it, where they 
uh, sleep at night and where they lay their eggs. But this is where they hang out in the mornings, you guys. And so they'll probably do this until the sun comes way up. Once the sun is in the air, they don't like necessarily to stay in the sun when it's hot. Although it's not hot anymore during the summer, uh, this time of day they would they would you know do all their grazing. But when the sun came out, they would find the shaded area, which is typically back that way. And so, but now that it's cooler, they do hang out in the sun. Of course, they get the vitamin D production, uh, which then ends up in their eggs as well. So you can see how treating chickens well, giving them a good home letting them feed naturally, free-ranging on the natural land. And of course, it's that deep, dark green grass because they crap all over the place. And so the crap goes into the ground. It helps to fertilize the ground. It's really a great regenerative, regenerative way uh, to keep animals and to keep the land. It's pretty cool, which is why I love chickens. It helps that I love eggs. I guess if you didn't like eggs, you wouldn't like having chickens, but uh, it's a great inexpensive and yet nutrient dense way to feed yourself if you're keto, carnivore, real food, whatever. But I like showing off my chickens every once in a while. You guys say, do more chicken videos. So here you go. I'm giving you evidence that they do what chickens do. Who knew, right? See, look at that one over there, just to eating away at the grass I have not uh, mowed in a little while. And it's one of my motivations for kind of letting it grow a little bit taller back here so they get stuff to eat on. You know, I love it. I love seeing them eat up the green. And that eating of the green grass ends up in that yolk being so, so rich so orange, so nutrient dense, it's not even funny, you guys. So these are my chickens. And I don't like to show them a lot. I know people like, show the chickens. I'm like, well, they're chickens. That's like, what more can I show you other than they sleep there, they lay eggs there, they hang out here during the daytime, they eat the grass, they poop. Um, what else do you want to know? It's like they're, and they're not hard to take care of. I think people are intimidated by having chickens because they think it's going to be all this work. Literally what I do, I, I haven't done it today yet because it's still very early in the morning, but usually I'll, I'll go in my house and the back door there, I have a little, um, a little, uh, trash bag and then I'll take the trash bag to the coop where they sleep at night, there is crap literally all over the place. And they sleep in kind of random places. So do you clean the poop like a dog? I don't take like tweezers and pick it up and put it into a bag. But I do have hay in there. So I kind of scrape the hay into the bag. And then I have hay on, on the floor of the ground in there. And so I pick that up and get it off of different areas. Like I said, they have very distinct sleep patterns of sleeping in the same place every night. So I clean that up. I harvest any eggs that might have come in. Um, I make sure their feed is, is full. Remember, I do supplemental feed that helps with their shell. So it's got oyster uh, shell in it that they eat, and then that helps harden their own shell naturally. Um, and then, yeah, if, uh, if it's empty, I, I fill that back up. I keep these little water things all over the yard especially during the summer, that was important to have so many water things. Um, I try to clean them every few days so they don't get kind of slimy. Once it rains, they kind of get slimy. So I have to like dump it out and redo it. And I just did that yesterday. Um, I used to have the little watering thing, but they kept emptying all the water out. So the girls didn't have any, any water to drink. So I had to come up with something else. And so these little $2 dish, uh, dishwashing, uh, containers actually did the trick and I see them drink out of it all the time but yeah and, and so that's pretty much what I do and then during the daytime you'll hear them back there and I know okay somebody else just laid one 
because they do this little song and dance for you when they lay a, lay an egg. They're like so proud of it, and they should be because it's a miracle, these little eggs that they poop out. But I have enjoyed having chickens, like I said, about seven or eight years I've had chickens now. Highly recommend you do it. It's not as labor intensive as you might think. And so long as you have a big enough yard that they can roam. And even if you don't, you could get and you have predators in your area. You can get a coop built that would have chicken wire all around it that would keep the predators out. Um, and, and keep them in there. The only thing with those kind of setups is you need to rotate the coop so that you know they don't dig at all the grass that's in that coop and then and then they're kind of stuck and you got a whole yard full of more grass so if you rotate it around move it around from time to time uh, that's actually better for them and for your yard anywho just wanted to show you this on camera today since a lot of you do ask about chickens pretty often i don't show a lot of them i, I feel like i've kind of done this song and dance telling you about my chicken so many times that I don't need to do it over and over. Angela says, I've got chickens and ducks that keep me sane and fed. Yes. I'm envious, Angela, because I have always wanted ducks because duck eggs, as, as much as I love my chicken eggs, duck eggs are the most rich food I think I've ever put in my mouth. And so delicious, so big. The eggs are big. And so... Yeah, trust me. Uh, I would love to have that if I could get like an aquaponics type of system. Um, I have plenty of yard back here that we could have like a little pond or something put in back there. I definitely want to do that uh, as a project someday. Um, if I can keep, see that little crate right there is where the cat gets in. So we put the crate up so the cat couldn't get in, but then the cat squeezed through the crate. So. I may have to like totally block that little hole right there. Of course, a cat could jump the fence for that matter. I guess if they wanted to get back here bad enough. Most of the time I catch the cat drinking the water back here. Yes, hello Temple. These are my these are my babies. I got to take care of the ones that take care of me pooping me breakfast and so I was just showing everybody this is what chickens do early in the morning. People often say, what do you feed them? I'm like, you're looking at it. It's called grass. They love digging and pecking at the ground, looking for bugs and grubs. This time of day, the bugs and grubs, because it's cooler, because it's wetter, they come to the surface of the ground and that becomes instant food for my girls. I think it's beautiful to see people raise their own food. My boyfriend in Florida has ducks. Yeah, I... Um, I, like I said, have loved having chickens and would highly recommend it to anybody that can have chickens in your area. Is that a screened porch to the left? Yeah, uh, that is a screened in. That's where my hot tub is. So yeah, screen porch. Sometimes I'll get in that hot tub just to kind of hang out here, give me a place to relax. And then I hear the chicken noises in the background and it's just glorious. It's just glorious. All right, guys, I don't want to belabor the point. I think you get the point. They eat grass. They, they dig, they scratch, they peck at the ground. This is what chickens do. And early in the morning, they do this. Uh, once the sun comes up, they stop kind of doing this so obsessively. They do it kind of here and there throughout the day. And most of the time, they'll go back, like you see them starting to go back towards the coop. They hang out in there a little bit, um, and sometimes they'll hang out around the back corner or along in here. They like being up against a building, sometimes back around the corner where the little uh, hose is. Yeah, they're just fun animals that like to just live their lives. And I think if you give them a good place to live and a nice home and you treat them well, then they tra treat you well back in the form of the eggs. So... All right, well, let me pop off of here for now. Just thought you'd want to see. See, there's one of them drinking from the water. They kind of take a few little swigs and then cock their neck backwards to let the water go down. 
It's pretty cool to watch them and relaxing too. So more than just the eggs, you get the entertainment value of these little boogers. All right, I am going to go now. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll give you a quick cameo at the end. What's up? So thank you for watching, and I'll show more chickens again soon. When they do something interesting, it's like, okay, that's my chickens. It's like, what else do I show you? Um, maybe I'll do a chicken Jimmy rants one of these days where I'm out here in the backyard. The only thing is I do it on three formats. So how would I do all three? I can't hold three devices simultaneously. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you in a few hours on Jimmy rants. Bye.